Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Moe's Nano Reefs. Um, today, I'm going to try to keep this a little bit shorter, but I'm going to talk about new reef tanks and balancing out, out the reef tank and the maturity and what that means. And if you watched my last video, I went into a more detail about my methods of maintaining this tank and maybe it might have been a little bit more advanced um, for more advanced reefers or guys that been in it for a little bit longer and not exactly for brand new people to the saltwater hobby and this one I'm going to try to simplify that whole thing to what my understanding is of reef tanks and um, I've started I, I think I said this was my fifth reef, reef tank in the past uh, few years I, I tend to have a busy life and I move around a lot and for one reason or the other tank is getting shut down or it's being moved and um, and doing that, it's not really the best thing to do. Uh, you know, you want to set a reef tank and just leave it and let it mature for years. But um, I really love the hobby and I, I don't let my life get in the way of me starting one and just holding on to it for as long as I can. Um, and uh, so with that said, I'm going to also update you on, on things on the reef tank. Um, but so I drew a little diagram for everybody to see of what my understanding is starting out all these reef tanks and what have I have experienced in having mostly new tanks and going up to a year, year and a half of a tank at the most. Um, but uh, since I've started a lot, I've noticed a trend in my tanks of what is happening and it's kind of all in my head of what exactly is happening. I haven't seen a lot of people put it down on paper in a, in a simplified term like I'm gonna show you. Um, but basically here it is what I what I imagine in my head so um, you set up a new reef tank and um, say you, you want to start the cycle and you put uh, food in there to begin and you want to start the ammonia and the, and the uh, nitrite nitrate cycle and basically what happens is um, so you add some food your levels are down here ammonia nitrite nitrate starts spiking up and then it starts leveling down and then basically, you know, your, your levels are down. You think you're good to go, throw some fish in there. And now the fish start eating and pooping basically and start building back up. And you didn't have a normal, nice, consistent um, regimen on, on the tank of feeding and dosing and everything. So basically you start going back up in nitrates and then you start going back down and then gradually as you become consistent with feeding and your bio load you basically just level off there and that's basically what i've and, and this works with you know calcium alkalinity bacteria usually you know maybe not all of them at the same time but one or the other most likely is having some nice nice size swings going on in the reef tank and um sometimes you can get lucky you can change you know, these numbers I like to put usually around the six month mark is when I, I usually, with my methods that I usually realize like a nice uh, balance and tune in, in the tank. And even after that point, it starts getting even better. Things that I, I don't really understand yet since I'm not, you know, I don't have 20 years behind this hobby. Um, but, uh, you know, I can only imagine that maybe some extra types of uh bacteria start to populate even more that are even more efficient at breaking down things maybe just the chemistry of the water starts balancing out in a in a way that I still don't understand yet um, maybe it's down to the glass or the acrylic building up a nice film and takes longer I, I don't know so you know there's a lot of things that you don't know but this is a general idea of what I believe is happening with the parameters in a tank and it's just it's just due to you adjusting your methodology um, behind how you care for your reef tank. And like I said, it could be different. This could be weeks. This could be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve months by the time you reach that. It could be two, four, six, eight, twelve weeks. You know, there's there's no telling. It just depends on how you do your methods and how it goes. But in general, I can tell you, you know, I've had tanks that basically didn't seem like they had any of this craziness going on at all and then the next thing you know I do this tank and it has uh, you know nice swings as good as the first couple tanks that I ever started up 
So this is just something to keep in mind while you're you're starting out um, that it's it's sometimes it's almost unavoidable, but you will have this, and and that's why a lot of them tell you you know you got to take it slow in the beginning, slow with the fish, slow with the coral, slow with the feeding, and that's why a lot of times you know when you have issues in your tank, most other experienced reefers will ask you how old is the tank because that that matters a lot and. Um, and, and a lot of this in, and ties into this is patience because you'll have these swings and you, you'll think you're doing something wrong. You're just not doing something right. But it all comes to just balancing it out and uh, the maturity of the tank um, and, uh, and how you take care of it and how you dose. And, you know, you could be dosing these calcium alkalinity. You're getting a swing here. You know, you're, you're getting in tune with your water changes and everything. And, um, and uh, yeah, that's just... In general, how I envision what's happening, just if you were to put it on a, on a graph most of the time. And, um, you know, just my personal experience of what I've learned. And if any of you guys, uh, you know, a lot of you guys are a little more experienced than me. If you have any comments about that, if you agree, um, you know, that's great. If you disagree, please leave a comment down below if you disagree and explain, you know, if you can in a short detail or long what you think you know, is going on. If I, I mean, I, I could be wrong. Who knows? Um, but I just wanted to put that out there. Just my general experience of what, how I go about it and how I feel things are happening in the tank and, you know, feeling more confident to explain that since now I've hit, you know, roughly around the five, six month mark. And, uh, and I do use YouTube as a, as a reference. I don't have, I don't, I don't really write down dates of when I started one thing or another. I do use a small app on my phone to, uh, keep track and I just kind of started just started doing that keeping track of my parameters on, on different um, dosing and elements and even the water changes but yeah so and uh, just to update you on my tank right now from the last one that I did uh, the end of last week not too long ago a few days ago everything's still going good it's only been a short while since that last update um, I do have a question if any of you guys know but uh, Two heads seem to be doing okay on this coral. In the beginning, one head died before everything was kind of doing pretty well in this tank. And I don't know, it might be popping back, but this one head right here at the top has been going in and out. And if anybody has any experience with that, I'm not sure if I should maybe go ahead and dip it and maybe try to see if there's any parasite or hitchhikers on there. Because um, I did have a problem before, but I have just have not seen anything on the coral. So I'm not sure... And I'm not sure if I should dip it, if that would stress it out even more. Or just go ahead and just leave it and be patient. I'm thinking to go ahead and I'm 50-50 down. Leave it and go, be even patient and, or, or giving it a, a little dip. Um, but yeah, I did do some things. I did do a water change. So I'm going to go ahead. I was doing weekly water change and now I've skipped out. And I'm going to go buy a, a, a regimen of uh, two-week water changes since everything is nice and stabilized here. Um, I did have a little a accident with this little coral here doing the water changes it accidentally when I wasn't looking. I had it suck right onto the uh, water change uh, line on the tube and I quickly released the pressure from that and it fell right back but it was pissed off for uh, yesterday and today it's kind of doing a little bit better. But yeah, and I want to thank all you guys. Um, you've been leaving me really nice comments and everything and um, you know, I've had this channel for a long time and just kind of sporadically put up videos, but I'm going to try to keep it more consistent with this and try to build my subscriber base. And right now I'm at about 200 subscribers in, uh, in YouTube world. That's like I'm a tiny baby, you know, in real world, 200 people is a lot of people. And I am kind of a shy person and this kind of does help me a little bit in that aspect, kind of like a little... You know, a little get a little hobby on top of a hobby, and I am enjoying it, bringing it out to you guys. And if you do have some criticism, you know, I can take that too. So, you know, bring it on. Just don't be too mean with you, with me. Um, but uh, and I want to thank um, a YouTube subscriber gave me a shout out, uh, Dion zero zero two six. He's a uh, he's a professional in the freshwater hobby, and I've seen some of his fish in that hobby, uh, uh, and that's in that side of the. Uh, hobby and um excellent some of the healthiest freshwater fish i've ever seen some colorful cichlids and all that um he's awesome at that 
but he, he just started out um, not too long ago in the saltwater hobby and he's learning a lot of things and he, he's very active and I, I try to help him as much as I can and uh, thanks for giving me that shout, shout out I really appreciate that uh, lines up my day when I see another YouTube give me a, my little channel a shout out and uh, make sure you check him out he's going full force with his 25 gallon lagoon I mean he's going all out um, and doing a SPS dominant tank um, from the beginning but yeah, thanks Dion, and uh, thank you guys for watching today, and like always, comment, subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to keep updating on my um, methods here and how it's doing my dosing and my feeding habits. But yeah, everything's going good, and thank you guys for watching. Take care.